particular problem we are going to find out the velocity vc for this given setup in this given question we uh, first of all let me tell you what page number and the problem number is it is from page number 228 and problem number 1 which is from practice problem for the day in this the question is given as as shown in the link as shown in the figure the link is guided by the two blocks at a and b the link is definitely ac which will be moving in the fixed slots and if the velocity of va they have given the velocity va which is downwards 2 meters per second so let me draw the velocity va va is given as 2 meters per second they want you to find out the velocity of the point b or the slider b when the entire setup is at 45 degrees so how do we solve this problem it is a very easy problem for this particular case but in this question i would like you people to add up one more velocity to be found out which is velocity of the point c which is an extension on the link ab so how do we solve this problem just i would like everyone to go through by their regular ways so here you can pause the video and try and find out the velocities of definitely a is given so we will find out the velocity vb find the direction of the velocity vb look at the icr and then we will proceed with the problem so i hope by now you have paused the video and got the velocity vb so let me just draw the velocity vb over here for you velocity vb since it is constrained in this given slot it has to move in the horizontal forward direction so this is my velocity vb now using these two velocities as i have always kept on telling that icr is a point which will be located by the intersections of these two velocities ka perpendicular so let me just get the velocities perpendiculars i'll just draw the perpendiculars for both the velocities and yes also remember one thing that icr is a zero velocity point so my actual velocity at the point icr will be zero it will have no linear velocity now why is that happening it is just because even with the formula if you see v is equal to r omega there is no r from the center of rotation so definitely velocity has to be zero so this becomes my icr for the entire link ab in fact in ac now i want to find out vb using the value of va so can i get the relationship in between them yes we can we have to just imagine or we have to understand that my entire link ab is rotating along this point iab let me give this link uh, uh, velocity omega bc in fact omega ac i should write it now here we can get the relationship that va is equal to a i into omega ac similarly i can also write vb is equal to bi into omega ac in this first part i know va is 2 cm 2 meters per second i have to just find out ai and i will be able to locate or find out ac omega ac now when i find out omega ac i will be able to use this omega ac over here if i know bi i will be able to find out vb so half of my job will be done so let us go and find out let us go and get this triangle a i b in triangle a i b i can use sine rule
in the sign rule we can write down the equation as a i upon sine of 45 will be equal to b i upon sine of 45 which shall be equal to a b upon sine 90 the problem is we must be knowing at least one of the lengths yes we are given the length a b as 0 0.2 meters and length b c is given as 0 0.1 meter so when i substitute over here a b as 0 0.2 i will be able to find out a i which definitely will also be equal to b i y because they are having the similar angles so which should be equal to b i which will be equal to when you calculate it should be coming out to be 0 0.1414 meters i would suggest you to write it at least till three decimal points or maybe even four for this problem because the values are too small so now once i get this i will resubstitute this in our actual statement that we have written earlier so i can rewrite that as v a is equal to a i into omega a c so here i can say 2 is equal to 0 0.1414 into omega a c so from here i can find out omega a c which will be equal to 14.14 radians per second okay now i can definitely jump on to vb vb will be equal to as we got over here from bi and bi is 0 0.1414 so just substituting the value will give you the vb which is coming out to be again 2 meters per second which is quite obvious why because the length is the same and depending upon the length the velocities will definitely be same because omega ac is constant for them now let us move further and try and concentrate on the velocity of the point c which is not asked in the question but i have extended it so that we can go ahead with a few more things into it how to find out the velocity at c so first of all i need to join this point c with my icr point so let me join that the moment you do that you can draw a perpendicular and this perpendicular will give you vc all i have to do is i can just write vc over here is equal to c i into omega a c why omega a c because a c or a b they are the same length so if you find out omega a c it's just the same particular angular velocity required for my linear velocity but the problem is with c i i don't know what is c i so for finding out c i i need to have some data with which I can actually get the length of CI and then substitute it for finding out VC. So let us focus on the triangle BCI. In triangle BCI, if I use cosine rule, I can say that c i square will be equal to i b square plus b c square minus 2 i b into b c into cos of this angle what is this angle over here we need to find out this angle this is a very important angle for us yes this angle can be found out this total is 90 and this is just the extension so this has to be 45 degrees 
so 90 plus 45 total will give you this angle as 135 degrees so when I write 135 degrees over here I can substitute my values now IB I have already found out which was 0 0.1414 BC I already know which is 0 0.1 substitute the same values over here with the cos 135 you will get ci so ci comes out to be equal to 0 0.223 meters now using the ci i can find out omega or i can say find out vc so let me name this equation as one from one Vc will be equal to 0 0.223 into omega AC which we just found out earlier was 14.14 now this gives equal to 3.16 meters per second so in order to get the different uh, velocities we were able to find out we had to actually find out the lengths and the geometry so just be sure that you all are very good at the geometry part because many a times we may be able to remember the sine rule but when we are supposed to get something from cosine rule it is quite difficult for us to get a click for it so make sure of that you remember it and keep practicing thank you